Welcome to Graduate School Application Requirements. Application requirements will vary by degree, program, and or individual school, and it is not possible for us to cover all scenarios and requirements during this presentation. However, here are some typical elements that may be part of your application checklist. Prerequisite coursework, standardized exam, the online application itself, a resume or curriculum vitae, transcripts from your previous academic institutions, personal statement or essay, and letters of recommendation. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to organize your application information and requirements. Consider creating a spreadsheet that tracks each school to which you plan to apply and include deadlines, any applicable fees, whether a standardized exam is required, and anything else that is important to remember or complete. Successful applicants often use this spreadsheet as a checklist and mark off when they have fulfilled or submitted each requirement. A bachelor's degree is typically required for graduate and professional school. While you should have completed the degree by the time you start your program, you can often apply while your undergraduate degree is still in progress. Your bachelor's degree does not always have to be in the same field you plan to study in graduate school. However, there are a few considerations to remember. Some degrees may better prepare you for study in a particular field in terms of the knowledge gained through the undergraduate coursework. In addition, the graduate or professional school may require or strongly recommend specific prerequisite coursework. Be sure to check admission requirements at your schools of interest and work with your academic advisor to incorporate those courses into your academic plan. Sometimes you may need to complete additional coursework during the summers or after graduation, but it really depends on your situation. A standardized exam may be required as part of the admission process. The purpose is to assess your suitability for graduate level study. Exams also provide a data point when comparing applicants. The conversation around standardized exams is ever evolving, however, so be sure you understand the current requirements that may even vary school by school. One of the most common exams is the graduate record examination. But other examples include the GMAT, used for business, the LSAT, for law school, and the MCAT, for medical school. Costs also vary. The GRE costs approximately $200, and some of the health professions exams can cost more than $400. Some programs do offer fee assistance. Consider your application timeline and be sure to take into account score reporting times, or how long it will take for the school to receive your score, and also how long test scores will be valid. If you need to request accommodations, be sure to give yourself plenty of time to submit the necessary paperwork in advance of registering for the test. Take the exam when you feel ready, when you have had adequate time to study. Test prep resources are available for free or at a cost. A complete timed practice test can be extremely valuable. Not only does it give you a sense of your subject matter knowledge, but it can also help you prepare for the testing experience, including the technology you will have available to you and how to manage test fatigue. Waiting until test day to fully experience the exam may add additional and unnecessary stress. With a few exceptions, including law school and the health professions, there is typically no common application or portal for graduate school. This means you will likely need to create an account and apply on each individual school's website. There are different requirements and formats, so consider registering for an account and getting familiar with the portal well before the deadline. Application fees will also vary. A resume or curriculum vitae, also known as a CV, may be part of your application requirements. 
You may see these terms used interchangeably, and it may depend on your industry or program. But typically, a resume is considered a summary of your most relevant qualifications and experiences and is limited to one page. A CV, on the other hand, is a more comprehensive or complete list of your experiences and qualifications and therefore may go over one page. A CV may include sections for publications, presentations, significant research, or teaching. As an alternative to uploading a resume or CV, some programs instead ask you to list your experiences within their own application template. Official transcripts from colleges or universities you previously attended are likely to be required. Contact your institution's registrar office and be sure to request the transcripts well in advance of deadlines. There is likely to be a fee and you will want to be sure your student account is settled, otherwise your school may not release those records. A personal statement or essay is your opportunity to share your background and your motivation. A school may ask you to answer a specific question, but generally you want to share your experiences and address how this degree will help you achieve your professional goals. You can likely use parts of the essay from multiple schools, but you will also want to somewhat tailor your essay to each particular institution. Sometimes a statement of research is requested. The school may ask you to propose a specific topic or question, and even include names of specific faculty members whose interests align with yours. Always pay attention to whatever prompt you are given, answer any and all questions, and follow the length guidelines. If none are given, a good rule of thumb is one to two pages double spaced, or about 500 to 800 words. Letters of recommendation can help give the admissions committee additional insight into your suitability for graduate or professional level study and how you can contribute to the incoming class. Pay attention to requirements which may vary school by school, but you will likely request these letters from professors or other individuals who have supervised you and can speak positively about your personal qualities. While it is challenging to cover admission requirements for all graduate and professional school programs, we hope that this presentation has given you an overview of the type of requirements you might see. If you have questions, you can usually reach out to the admissions office for help. You can also find support for the application process here at Gonzaga. For more information or one-on-one -on -one assistance with graduate or professional school applications, please reach out visit our website, contact us via email or phone, schedule an appointment on Zags Ignite, or stop by and see us on campus. We are located on the main floor of the Crosby Center at Career and Professional Development.